Hello everyone, welcome to another video and today we are doing a review on the Backman Ambulance Train Pack. Um, it only just fits in shocks, it's quite a big pack, but yeah, I'm going to review it. It's quite, quite nice detailing on the front of the box, showing off the local and rolling stock quite well. So let's re remove the lid. Very gently. So, in it is quite a nice overcover showing what it would have been used for. So this would have carried troops who were injured or anything and it comes with a pack of people you got two nurses and four in well two injured army soldiers and two army soldiers that aren't injured you also get this bag of spares and extras which is quite nice um got some spares in there so, in it you get the city of Birmingham in a sort of Great Western War livery, which this is the same class of locomotive as City of Truro. You also get two nice, like, World War One, like, ambulance coaches, which you can see from the ambulance badging. So... I'll show you the detail now. So this is the detail. As you can see, I've got it sat next to its um, coaches. Um, it's got some nice detailing. It's in a lovely um, Great Western wartime brown. It's got metal domes, Great Western style dome, dual whistle, it's got a nice num like plate saying City of Birmingham. It's number 3711. Uh, as I said, it's like City of Truro, so it's got this bar on the outside. And it will just bring you around here. It's got a quite realistic coal load. Two hand, hand brake swaps. And a quite highly detailed cab, as you can see. So, and the same with the um, coaches in a nice sort of olivey kind of colour, I guess you could say. It's quite nice. It's got 4EAT written on the front. Not quite sure what that means. But quite just got some quite nice detail. But it is based off of the other coaches that Batman made. They've not remodelled it just for this which would have been better if they did but I think Batman's done quite a nice job so um, I'll show it running now okay so I'm gonna pull it out of the little side thing it's in and then connect up to the coaches I've got all three of them set up And I will take them off. Sorry, it's just too loud. So the other car, so then it can go on to the main line. Just pull that in. And now it can nicely run from the main line. 
start with, I'm not going to run it very fast. So. It's quite a nice runner, this locomotive. But sometimes the front bogies will derail on my Hornby points. Um, if any of you have got this pack, if could you please tell me if this does the same for you? Okay, in the description below. But I am planning on redesigning this layout. So, with Pico points, so hopefully it'll run a bit better on there. Because I have tried this on a another layout with Pico points, and it did run quite well. I just turned the camera that way a little bit and I see a bit going faster and around the bend. And just over there it Going past the crossing. There is no detail on this layout right now because it was a work in progress. But Still looks nice going in the background there. Yeah, I'm gonna go get another locomotive out and we can see that one in as well. So, here's the other locomotive. I couldn't, I don't think I've got any more war locomotives, so I've got this one out because. It might have been in World War II, but I'm not sure. This is the Hornby Midland LMS compound with Fowler Tender. It is quite a nice model and I've paired it with my um, Hornby Blood and Custard coaches. So yeah. Let's just watch this one in for a bit. I thought these two locos go quite nice together. Look, I changed the camera angle and you might be able to see them going around the bench. Also, you can see my British Royal Andrew Barkley in the Distance, this one. Still one of my spikes by side on. You can also at the bottom see my um, loco rolling stock drop. I hope you all like this video and I really recommend the Mike Landings because it's quite a nice pack. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.